Hello everyone, here is another video tutorial for Google Workspace and in this video tutorial uh, I'll explain uh, how to set up forwarding for multiple mailbox or for entire domain to one particular mailbox. <coughs> Sorry. So who need these settings? So here is the thing, if you are a marketer or cold mailing expert, uh, if you have let's say 50 or probably 70 mailbox and it's really hard to manage all of them because if you connected those mailbox with a uh, mail system like CRM or something and you are sending bulk mail or probably cold mail and you are getting reply to this and basically you need to log in each of them to get uh, get this reply uh, and sometimes it happens some people also set up forwarding right from their uh, Gmail to their personal mailbox or one central mailbox so which also require have some extra step I mean you still need to log in each of the mailbox and set up the forwarding so the traditional forwarding works like this way so when you go to the settings then you're gonna go to the forward and add a forwarding address and then you're gonna put the address where you like to send all those mail when you receive this mail in here but there's a drawback in here like sometimes some of the mail come to the spam and spam mail sometimes doesn't forward to that email address that you define in here so this is why we're gonna set up the forwarding right from our Google administrative access administrative level so this will will help you to do most of this thing from your domain level end and you don't necessarily need to log in each of the mailbox set and set up the forwarding so currently uh, we have only one uh, <coughs> mailbox in here so I'm gonna add another mailbox and as a test so we're gonna check this out so add new user so let's give it a name example user so example at smtplab.xyz and add user I don't need actually I need to know the password uh, because I will set up the set up the forwarding right from the dashboard uh, but you should copy paste and use the password somewhere else and you're gonna integrate this for maybe warm-up or uh, maybe cold mailing purpose so no problem let's click done done so let's refresh it will show up in here so now we have two user so if you have I mean consider you have 10 user and you like to receive all those 10 user mail to one user uh, people might be talk about catch-all mail uh, catch-all is not good because if you set up the catch-all you are technically not receiving mail to that particular mailbox so if you are doing warm-up or doing cold mailing uh, some of the provider uh, will not let you connect those mailbox if you set up catch-all so that's why we are against against the catch-all setup so now let's go to the Google routing setup let's go Gmail then here in default routing so I'm gonna create a rule uh, so that uh, whenever anyone send an email to our uh, domain any of any user of our domain uh, it will also send us a copy uh, to our uh, to, to one of defined mail address that I like to receive so I'm gonna configure new rule so here uh, if you like to do it for single address you're gonna just put that address uh, like I could just put uh, the address like example at uh, smtplab.xyz here but I'll, I, I just like to do it for entire domain level so any user before that domain name should be should have a copy to my mailbox so I'm gonna put a pattern match so here I'm gonna use let's say smtp lab dot xyz I'm gonna test this expression let's say example at smtp lab dot xyz so is that is match so it will work 
uh, there's a many way to do the uh, regex x pattern um, I'm just doing it the simplest way possible you can do so then you should enable SMTP GM original 2 header and you can add the uh, fishy header as well uh, so you can determine the um, spam assassin or other uh, spam factor so it's not necessarily needed but I'm gonna add that one for myself then bypass spam filter for this type of message so we don't like to this some of this message got filtered because of uh, some messy mail issue so make sure you check that then you're gonna do add more recipient if you want to add some custom subject for this type of copies you can add it from here but I just like to keep that mail original whenever I receive mail to all those mailboxes so add more recipients here you're gonna add a recipient and I'm gonna click on advance so here uh, envelope receipt uh, change envelope recipient so you can replace the recipient name to your mailbox name so I'm in this case I'm gonna use my mailbox smtp lab dot xyz and eventually you can replace the domain name or replace the username so I'm not going to do things uh, domain name is needed when you change a domain name let's say you've been using example.com now you are using xyz.com that case you can just change the domain name so I'm just I just like to change the recipient that's it so now uh, here spam and delivery option um, do not deliver spam to this recipient uh, if you check that the spam message will not deliver which I don't want because I want to receive all possible mail addresses I mean mails uh, because some of the mail reply might marked as a spam and if I check this I might miss those mails so I just uncheck that one then header so I'm gonna still gonna do add SMTP GM original header and then save and I'm gonna do it for perform this action for non recognized and recognized address so that's it save so give it couple of minutes to propagate usually it's instant but still you should take some time then I'm gonna send a test I mean I'm gonna send a mail to that second user and we'll check if I receive that mail in here so let's go ahead and send a test mail So I just sent a test mail from uh, I just asked one of someone to send a test mail to example at smtplab.xyz so now I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that mail to have here so here I saw the I just got the got the mail so as you can see here I can see the mail came to example dot example at smtp lab.xyz but I got it to uh, my address so this is how you can configure your uh, multi multi level I mean domain level forwarding to your own mailbox let me know if you have any thoughts thanks for watching this video